Hello everybody, Mobius1 here, bringing you the next episode of Final Fantasy 16. We're here at the new hideaway, and uh, we... I think we're about to go out and rescue Martha, or find Martha from uh, Martha's Rest. Oh, this is a dead end. But Martha has gone missing. We're gonna go speak with Otto, we get the details. So I don't think we know exactly what happened yet. We just had a time jump, um, either at the beginning of the last episode or the one before that. I think it was the last one. I haven't actually cut those episodes together yet. And yeah, we're still kind of learning what's what's been going on in the world the last uh, last couple of years. What do we know, Otto? Some lads from the Imperial garrison in Rosaria started a fight over at Martha's Rest. Blood was spilled, bones were broken. The usual. But somewhere in the middle of it all, Martha vanished without a word to anyone. And that ain't like her, Clive. Something's not right. You think this was planned? Of course it bloody was. Ever since Eastport, the Empire's been tightening its grip Ran the duchy's balls. They've strung up everyone who's ever set eyes on a runaway, claiming they're traitors to the Holy Throne, conspiring to restore the House of Rosfield to power. I mean, that is kind of what Martha was doing. The bastards have turned their attentions to the poor bearers meek enough to stay put. Naturally, old Martha could see the way the wind was blowing, complained that it was getting harder and harder to take bearers in. And now she's missing. If she's fallen into the hands of the Empire, we could be next. A couple of curse breakers are already on their way to the inn. They should help speed up the search. But if this is as bad as I think it is, you might end up having to save their asses and all. Can ignore that. Don't worry, Otto. I'll make sure everyone gets home safe. Okay, new quest available nearby. Let's see. Well, wait, why do you have new information? Didn't I just talk to you? Here for another of my lectures. How may I help you today? State of the Realm. By speaking with Vivian in the Hideaways map room, Clive can view the state of the realm and learn about the current going-ons in Valicia, revisit any of the Nine Tails past lessons, or take a deeper look at relationships. Okay. Huh. The situation hey. map? Here you can view a detailed overview of current and past events relative to Clive's story that updates as you progress through the main scenario. Oh, wow. Huh. Death in the Defile. Care Navant. Garuda's Rage. This is cool! Duchy Despoiled, End of East Pool, Drake Decapitated. This is really cool! Alright, and then... Of course. Here you can view a detailed visual visualization of character relationships that updates. Dude, that's really dope! Aw, poor Ambrosia. Dude, whoever put this together spent- look at all of this! This is so cool! Ah, uh, fine hound. Wow. Okay. Ends today's lesson. That's really dope. I could spend a lot of time on that if I wasn't recording this for YouTube. Okay, so where's the... It said there was a side quest nearby, down there. Isn't this the guy who... Welcome back, sir. 
did. Yeah, man, it's just a boat. Damn blighted bilge. Is everything all right? Aside from the holes in my hull, everything's roses. <laughs> the lake water doesn't agree with it, then. That's one way of putting it. And unless you got some grand scheme to suck the black from the lake like we do in the atrium, that slurry will keep eating away at the timber like young Tech does our lemon tarts. I suppose a coat of pitch might stave off the rock for a moon or so. Assuming we had any pitch, which we don't. Not any bloody more. Doubt the old tub's got more than a dozen runs left in him. All right, we'll find you some pitch. Your skiff is our only means of reaching the mainland. Without it, we'd be lost. Well, I'm glad someone round here sees it that way. To make pitch, you need pitch trees. But in case you haven't noticed, live trees are one of the thousand things sorely lacking in the Deadlands. Now. Well, I'm not so unkind as to ask you to fell a faraway forest and lug the logs back here to the mere. Which is why we'll be needing a suitable alternative. And it just so happens I once heard the thorny pitchers of Curltail Falls cover themselves in a sticky wax to trap birds and beetles and whatnot. Okay. Might be enough to tide me over. Sounds easier than felling a faraway forest. That's for certain. Okay, so I have to find and kill corals then? Curl Tail Falls. Any other quests to pick up? No. Okay. So am I fast traveling? It looks like it. Back to the three reeds. I haven't been here in five years. Let's see if anything's changed. And we can also run to Martha's Rest from here. Ooh, it's hazy. Same music, though, which is nice. Hello? Anybody down here? Oh, we have to kill the plants. A forest, I said. The oh, that's not what I meant teeth. to do. Bravo! No, 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 no. That's not what I meant to do either. I did it again. That's not nice. Combo. So we do, do we just get the stuff? Got five pitcher wax. Time to head home. Well, I mean, we could... Let's just kill a little... A couple more guys. We'll kill these guys. Alright, I guess we could just fast travel back. And then we can fast travel to Martha's Rest. Makes it pretty easy, I guess. I was gonna run all the way to Martha's Rest, but... That'd probably take a little bit longer than necessary, and this way we can just... Oh, they put us at the top of the lift. Uh, I guess that's not too bad. Finish with that, 
Welcome back, said. Well, did you find me some wax? Find is one way of putting it. Here we go. Ugh. Reeks like a chocobo's ass. Oh, I don't suppose the Argo will mind as long as he stays above the waves. Argo? So your boat has a name? I didn't know. Yeah. Same as my old man. He was a ferryman himself back before the blight came. The boat's all I have left of him. And thanks to you, he'll sail another day. Cool. Wow, cock and ball. Wow. What a quest name. Okay. Go into the rest. Who are we going to find here? Some Imperials? What happened here? Come on. We need to find the others. Imperials. If they hurt Martha, they'll have the old rest to answer to. The music is tense as fuck. We're best off staying where we are for now, I reckon. The boys from the garrison might still be nearby. Let's get you to a physical, shall we? I'm sorry. What's going on in here? Sid? What said you'd be coming? I trust you don't mind. Also thought you might need some help. And it appears he was right. You, uh, could say that, yes. They're saying the Imperials descended like a storm. No one was spared their fury. Martha tried to step in and calm things down, but... All our efforts got her were a pair of iron shackles and a hard march. Any idea where? Judging by their tracks, they headed towards Sorrowwise Bay. To the Abbey, sheltering Martha's bearers. The bastards. Jill and I will go after them. You take care of the people here. We will. But, um, before you go, one of the locals heard something. He said the soldiers were talking about a culling. I don't know how big this is, but it doesn't sound good. Be careful out there, Sid. You do the same. Dark clouds gather. Cole is right. That was no tavern brawl. It was a message. But a culling. Bearers are the property of the Empire. The garrison wouldn't have the authority to act alone. The orders would have had to have come from higher up. Anything catch your eye? Nah, it's probably not anything in here worth buying. Yeah, we'll buy this orchestrian. Thanks very much. That all, is it? Oi, look sharp! Okay. I know I was going to aggro this whole group. Look. Up ahead. That's Martha. who needs you. You have to do something. Tell us what happened. What happened? The damn Black Shields, that's what happened. The Black Shields? The bastards caught wind. The abbot and I were helping bearers. 
They were gonna hang us both when the sick rose from their beds. Poor souls turned on the Imperials, distracted them long enough for me to get away. Then they may still be alive. I doubt it. Arthur, do you think you can make it back to the inn? Cole is there with the other curse breakers. I think so. Thank you, Clive. Black shields. Is this some sort of twisted joke? There has only ever been one order of shields in this area, and they fought to defend all her citizens. It seems a step too far, even for the Empire. Could they be like. I don't know, Rosarian. I don't want to say loyalists. A little late there, Jill, but thanks for the help. Another dead body. Couple bodies up here. Are we too late? There might still be someone inside. Shit. No. I thought you lot were all spent. Murderers. They drove the bearers to this. Wait. These two aren't turned. Ugh. That bitch of an innkeeper must have sent them. Colluding with the enemies of the Empire is a serious offense. And for their crimes shall they be punished. Such is the law. To dwell in darkness that we may purge the night and welcome lasting dawn. On these our swords we swear. How dare you speak those words? Have you no honor? Clive. This won't take long. Oh, hell no, it won't. We're gonna prime. Let's go. <laughs> Fuck him up! Fuck him up hard! So <laughs> fuck him up, fuck everybody up! Just get wrecked. I feel like that's uh, canonically what Clive would have done in that situation. Is that all of them? I think so. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> kind of anticlimactic ending to that quest, but all right. Level up. I didn't see the abbot. He may still be alive. He's probably hiding in a bush. The abbot. Who 
The bearers died protecting him. Calling upon what little magic they had left in their bodies. Clive. He's breathing. We're friends of Martha. We're here to help. Are the Imperials dead? They are. Every last one. I mean... Told me that we're two. <coughs> the Black Shields will return. The cuttings will continue. Rosaria will never be saved unless we save her. Tell Martha to beg his aid and tell her this wasn't her fault. I, I shall. So has this been like an ongoing thing that we didn't know about? In here! We found a survivor! Clive? Nah, he's a rock. He's gone. We've laid the abbot to rest, but the bearers, they didn't need to die like this. No, they didn't, but it was their choice. They knew the fate that awaited them and chose to meet it on their terms, fighting for those who fought for them. Martha said they rose from their beds, threw themselves at the Imperials so she and the abbot could escape. I've gathered the bearers' remains. We should consign them to the tide. There's a drawbridge not far from here. Riddick's jump. The currents there are swift. If the abbot was still with us, he'd have taken the dust there himself and performed the casting. I'll get someone to... I'll do it. Saw that coming. Cole and I will remain here and see to the Imperials. Wait, what? I gotta go by myself? I'm sure nothing could possibly go wrong. I guess I do have Torgal with me. Um, okay, well what's the easiest way to get over there? Is it just this way? Let me pull up the map. No, okay, we gotta go around to the left. Ooh, that's a new enemy. Frickin', uh, was it Air Airman? Is that how you pronounce it? Araman? Oh, it's a bounty! C. Okay. Notorious marks. Every now and then, Clive may encounter creatures larger, faster, and more ferocious than most. While flight is always an option, defeating these notorious marks can earn him not only renown, but also rare materials we use to craft new gear or upgrade existing items. Okay. Oh, what is that? Jeez. To me, boy. Nice try.
Okay. Ooh, that's not what I meant to do. But that works. All right, let's fucking prime. Let's go. Oh shit, what am I, where am I? Hold on, hold on, get out of the ring, get out of the ring! Oh my god, down to 1 HP, okay. Ah, uh, I knew that was a bad idea. Fine, let's just fuck him up. No, 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 no! Oh shit, did they kill me? Ooh, I... Yeah, damn, that sucks. Called themselves our country. All right. Take two. I wish I knew what that did. Damn, I can't, like, attack those or do something to those. I guess this is the best thing to do, is just dodge them out away from him. Alright, almost staggered. Almost staggered, damn it. 
Damn it again. There we go. I don't really know if this is even worth it, but... Nope, 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 nope. Okay, we dodged one of those. You know what? Fuck it, I'm priming. Get out of the circle! Oof. Nope, 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 nope. He's so close to death. No, 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 no. He's so close to death. Ooh. This is it. Yeah. Whew, okay. Second time's the charm. Ooh, we got Renown. I guess that's what that icon is. That coming. <laughs> Clever. That must be the bridge. Who's going to pop up behind me? So shall the waters cleanse thee of thy burden and bear it out to sea. I feel like someone's going to be standing right behind me. Now they are yeah. truly free. No, oh, it's Jill. That's fine. I hope so. What of the Imperials? A pyre was made. It's more than they deserve. We should go back. Cole is worried about Martha. All right. Anybody want to fight along the way back? No, it looks pretty clear. From what I can see, though. Can't see very far with all this haze. How many times do we got to save this place? As long as they don't ask us to serve food. I'm tired of serving food. Oi, look sharp. And they call themselves our country. At least she cleaned up. No one survived then. I'm sorry. 
Before he passed, one of them bade me tell you not to blame yourself. Does it mean I won't? Does it mean their blood's not on my hands? Cole said you cast their remains. That was good of you. But it should have been me. This was all my fault. How? You couldn't have known. But I did. And I turned a deaf ear to the warnings like the fool I am. The rumors started moons ago. Of black-clad devils descending on villages in the dead of night to slit the throats of sleeping bearers. But I assumed it was all just nonsense concocted by the Empire. Bet your mama has something to do with this. Don't think twice about lending a hand to a fugitive bearer. And in ordinary times you would have been right. What these black shields are doing is unthinkable. Which begs the question, why do it at all? Because mama made them. Obviously has a hand in this. Yep. I cannot make sense of her actions. And picking what goes on in that woman's head is a job for someone with more time on their hands. Right now, I need swords and men to wield them. Preferably big ones. Big, big swords or big men? Think they can come in here again and threaten my people. They're in for a rude awakening. Oh, before I forget, a Stolas from Otto landed just before you arrived. He asked me to tell you that Gav has returned. Then we must as well. Will you be all right here, Martha? We can stay longer if you wish. No need. I'll be ready should the Imperials come calling. Though I wouldn't turn my nose up if you were to lend me a pair of them strapping young curse breakers. Quest complete. Yeah, that bottom thing has to be like renown or or reputation. I, I know they told us about it before, but I don't remember. What in the world? Is if you don't mind, Sid, I'd like to stay here with Martha, just until she finds someone to guard the rest. That is. All right. Is there anything we can loot upstairs? No. No, oh, I was hoping we could jump down. Um, is that a side quest out there? Try not to move. Oi! You there! But don't just pass me by! You handy with that sword of yours? Of course you are. Bet you're a bloody marvel with the thing. Now, question is, are you willing to use it or not? Because a flock of noble chocobos are in need of help. Noble chocobos, chocobos. okay. You heard me right. Wild birds? Hmm? The big ones? And not just any chocobos. Right, night. right, noble ones. Whiteheart and her flock are the bravest birds you ever did see. They protect travelers round these parts from bandits and the like. Chocobos. Fighting bandits. It's true. Why, they saved me from a gang of footpads only yesterday. Nasty lot they were too. And now, they're back. Looking to settle the score. Oh, go on then. D don't just stand there. Go and help them. Am I going to get my own chocobo for this? There's a good lad. Where can I find these chocobos? I saw him cut across the way over yonder. The rotten scoundrels were driving the poor things towards the old dark. It's a dead end, that is. It's a dead Let's end, see, that is. Hurting her flock, you hear me? There ain't a pluckier bird in all the world. She's a hero to us locals. <laughs> all right, dude. Don't let's worry. go. You'll know her when you see her, right enough. I'm sure I will. And good luck to you. And give those no good bastards a hiding from me. White winged wonder. It's weird. I can't remember if every side quest had a green plus icon like that. I thought it was a green like map ma map marker. That's quite a name. 
looking for a chocobo. So I'm wondering if the plus means something different, or maybe they're all pluses and I just haven't been paying close enough attention. But, like, part of me... I'm used to Final Fantasy XIV, where they have different quest icons for quests that, like, unlock content. So I'm wondering if the green plus is, like, I'm unlocking a chocobo to ride. That'd be really cool. But, like I said, they could have all been the same icon, I just didn't notice. White feather. This camp. Wait a minute. I the white. I was, one of a kind. I was just gonna say this. The white heart chocobo brave, couldn't possibly be Ambrosia, could it? Looks like they went that way. It's. It has to be. If we find her and like she has an injured eye, it's fucking Ambrosia. I kind of want to. I'm going down without a fight. I kind of want to fight the big dude. Oh my god, I keep forgetting that I have this. Ah, oh, so close to beating him without taking any damage. I needed that. All right, we're almost there. I see people. I see chocobos. Mm, and I don't see an injured eye. We got you cornered, feathers. You didn't think you'd seen the last of us, did you? You've been bad for business. But I reckon someone will pay good coin to mount your head on their wall. Eh, yeah, come get. Yeah, fuck, dude. Let's go. Oh. And why is that, eh? Because she's something of a hero in these parts. You hurt her, and I hurt you. This off. Uh, or better still, how about we hurt you both? All right then. But don't say I didn't warn you. Come on! Come on! Come on! Come on! Oh, they're too far. Hey, I got a trophy for that? Okay. All right, big boy. Yeah. 
Come on. Almost staggered, or almost half staggered. There we go. This should stagger him. I'm getting the hang of how this this whole having three icon things, and it was a little bit getting used to, but I think I'm getting it. Oh, it is Ambrosia. You're safe now. Is it with her eye, scarred eye? Right heart, I presume. Yeah. <laughs> Quack. Do you know her, boy? Dude, you should know her. That's not... It couldn't be. Ambrosia. It is you. You survived. A flock. Oi! He, he is it over! I thought I'd come and see how you were getting on. Oh, well, you sort of the bastards then. I knew you would. That's sweet. And the whole flock made it through unscathed. Thankfully, they did. And not only that. Well, I'll be. I never stopped to think our hero here might once have been someone's mount. <laughs> Though I dare say she'd suit a fine fellow like yourself. Reckon our feathered friend must have learned a thing or two from her master. Kind-hearted warrior that you are. <laughs> Bird like her would have cost a princely sum. You born a lord or something? Well... I, uh, um... Oh, no, sorry, sorry, I, I, I didn't mean to pry. Don't matter who you are, you done right by me. What is it, girl? She wants her master <laughs> back, I reckon. Let's, let's go. <laughs> Told you, and it seems her pals agree. Is that it? You want to come with me? Well, bugger me if this ain't a heartwarming sight. The lads down the stables will be hearing about this tonight. Oh, stay right where you are. He's gonna come back with a saddle. 100%. An eye patch, nice. Doesn't she cut an handsome figure, eh? She does indeed. How much do I owe you? Ah, a few scraps of leather's the very least I owe, old White Heart. Oh, I'll be sad to see her go, of course. But she's earned her right to happiness and more besides. Don't you worry, we'll get along just fine without her. <laughs> You All right, that, let's go. You've earned yourself some time off. You have fun traveling with your master now. Hmm. You seem awful familiar now I get a proper look at you. That's it. When those chocobos swarmed my car on the road, didn't you? Uh... No. No, that can't be right. That fellow was a bearer. 
Must have been my double. Oh, must have been, eh? <laughs> oh, that'll be the excitement getting to me. Silly sod that I am. Do Ain't people mind. not see, yeah, like, the scar the from his bearer, Good Mark? Luck to the both of you. Like, in a world where people get branded with a big tattoo on their face, you would recognize, flock for now. like, a scar like that. I need you. The White Winged Wonder. Alright, I'm pretty sure. Ambrosia's Tack. Discli oh, Display in Class Chambers. Interesting. Okay, so how do I... Yes! Chocobo unlocked. How do I summon her, though? Is it an item? Hold R3. Nice. Let's go! There we go. Okay, cool. Where are we supposed to be going? Return to the hideaway? Alright, so I can't- Oh my god, she can fight? Oh! That's so badass! Get stomped! <laughs> there has to be a trophy for this. Dude, we're kicking this guy halfway across the map. No, all right, yeah, I guess there we go. We pin him. Oh, no, that's what I was afraid of. Damn. Oh, Jill got a chocobo too? Nice. All right, I don't want to fight you now. We're just going to go back up to Martha's Rest and then, um... No, you know what? That's probably a good idea to just stop. And, uh, let's do... Let's just teleport back to the hideaway. I wonder what you can find if you just, like, go exploring. Where's Gav? Alright, this is a good place to stop for this episode. Uh, nice, we unlocked the Chocobo, saved Martha, we got to fight some Black Shields, I'm sure we'll find out more about them in the future. But, uh, for now, we're gonna end this here. So, thank y'all for watching. Mobius1 here, I'll see you in the next one.